houses, cars, money, actress Lisa Peluso had it all. Still, she couldn't shake the feeling that someone, something was missing from her life, and that feeling haunted her until she could, couldn't ignore it anymore. By about 10 years old, I'd done about 100 television commercials and 35 voiceovers. I sang and danced. I was on Broadway. I had enough money. Uh, I can't say I'd have made, you know, millions of dollars, but I had enough money for a, a young single girl living in Manhattan to do kind of whatever I wanted to do. Studio 54 days, we're talking clubs and nightclubs. They would usher us in because we were on TV and, you know, I, I walked the red carpet. I did all of that stuff. I, I dated celebrities, but uh, still there was that void inside of me. I began doing drugs kind of on a regular basis. Eventually, I ended up in two rehabs. Um, the first one, I was still convinced that just because I, you know, I did drugs, I could still drink. Um, so I had to learn that the hard way and end up in another rehab. I remember that night in the rehab intake room when I said, God, you know, I, I need you. I had to find out who God was. So I began searching. Um, I, Buddhism, Taoism, I read all sorts of things, self-help books. But the funny thing is, every time I earnestly prayed, God, you know, I just want to know the truth, a Christian would show up. And uh, I really didn't like Christians very much. I, I kind of thought they were sort of, I don't know, Bible-thumping, judgmental sort of people. Except I had a problem. My brother um, had become born again. And I just watched his life change. But he never preached at me. He just lived his life as an example. And one day I was sitting at the table with my brother and I said, I don't really understand, but I'm a house in the country. I have a great career. I, I'm dating a rock star and I'm still not happy. He looked up from his newspaper and he said, well, maybe you need to get saved. <laughs> and I looked at him and I thought about it for a moment. And I said, nah, no. <laughs> It's not for me. I went to see the movie, The Beauty and the Beast. And uh, in that movie, love changes the beast. And I remember thinking about this on the way home, how that sort of touched something in me. And that night when I got home, I got on my knees and I asked God, I said, God, just, you know, zap me, do whatever you do, but I'm, I'm open and I'm willing. When I just basically decided to cross that line, and allow Jesus specifically to come into my heart. And in that moment alone in my bedroom, I just remember that feeling of the peace. When I was on my spiritual quest for truth, I was just looking to fill the void. And um, I read a lot of things and a lot of different books and a lot of different kinds of religion, but they just didn't, nothing really filled that, that void in my heart. And that's what I was really looking for. I was looking to, to find peace and contentment. And there wasn't anything but, but Christ that offered that to me until I found Christ, until I had that experience for myself. Um, it was almost like fitting a round peg in a square hole. I've always had that um, desire from the day I got saved, just to tell people uh, what happened to me and to just, to, just to explain that, hey, you know, if you have a hole in your heart and you feel the way I do, I know the answer, you know, Christ, Jesus Christ can fill that void for you if you let him, if you surrender. Jesus will fill that void in your heart. You know, all of us have that. When we don't have Jesus, we have this hole in our heart, in our spirit, in our soul, however you want to describe it, this void that we can't seem to fill. We try to fill it with things of the world like money and success and relationships and, and drugs and alcohol. And we think these things will make us feel good and will truly fill that void. And we come to realize as we try to fill it with those things, it might make us feel good for a little while, but it is not truly satisfying because it was never created 
to do that. All of those things were created to separate you from your creator. And I'm here to encourage you, and I hope that Lisa's story encouraged you to receive this today, that the only thing, the only person that can fill that God-sized void in your heart is God himself. We were created to have an intimate relationship with our creator. And when you get to that place of surrender where you're just at the end of your rope, you've tried everything else, nothing seems to satisfy. That's what Lisa was feeling. And it took a Disney movie, God will use anything, to make us get to that point of surrender where we finally just say, Jesus, I'm done doing life my way. I want you to come in and fill my heart like never before. As I was watching that, I'm reminded of Matthew 5, the scripture where Jesus says, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. The poor in spirit. That means when we are just at the end of our rope, we're done. We're done trying to do life our way, trying to fix our lives. But when we say, Jesus, I need you. I want you. I want to surrender to you because nothing else satisfies me. And I believe that you are my true satisfaction, that when I accept you as my Lord and Savior, I am saved. I am healed. I am redeemed. But most of all, I come into your loving love, your, your unrivaled love. So if you've never done that today, pray this simple prayer with me, just inviting Jesus into your life like never before. Pray this prayer right now. Lord Jesus, Jesus, I cry out to you. I'm done doing life my way. Today, Heavenly Father, I turn, I turn from my sinful old life and I turn and I look to you, Jesus. I receive you today as my Lord and my Savior. I believe that you died on the cross for me and my sins. And that same resurrection power that brought you back to life now lives inside of me. Thank you, Jesus. Make me a new creation in you. In your name I pray and ask all of this, amen and amen. And if you just prayed that prayer with me, please do one more thing. Give us a call. Tell somebody you just gave your life to the Lord. We have some amazing free resources that are going to help you on this new faith journey.